It's almost harder to talk about yourself than ask the question. Well, this is a very easy show to talk about yeah. because um, right, let's start. Go ahead. I love why. it. I, I, why I really do you love, love it, it. And why? because uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, there, there's roles that come along, and, and you go, oh my goodness. I've, I've said to Jill, Jill Soloway, our creator, I mean, she's given me the role of a lifetime and the responsibility of a lifetime. And then, you know, I just coming here through here and people just saying what they say about about it, you know, and uh, um, it's uh, it's 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 an honor. And so it's easy to talk about what's hard is to talk about a show that you're not proud of or you're not, you know, involved. But this is uh, I could talk about this forever. What people have justifiably said that transparency is groundbreaking. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it is so groundbreaking? Well, for a couple of reasons. One, it's streaming. Uh, and and I, st I think all the stories, that, that's wrong. I think m most of the stories now are being told in, a, in almost in a novelistic way on streaming. I think streaming is the new it. I'm a big, you know, I'm 70 years old and I'm a big fan of streaming. I like how you can tell it novelistically. Um, there is a, uh, uh, a father who transitions to a mother in the role and that is groundbreaking. But there's also a family that I think that's more to the point is, is modern in the sense that they are, everyone is think, uh, uh, finding their identity in a very modern setting, what, who they are. And, and uh, so the way it's being told, what it's about, about authenticity, about uh, a character who's 70 years old who is uh, making a flea uh, for her freedom, uh, and, and uh, uh, obviously, um, it's about the otherizing of people, uh, and it couldn't be more timely this week, uh, in in view of the uh, the horrible tragedy in Orlando, uh, and the the the, uh, the fact that this is not a red carpet item, that this is not a fashion item. These are people who are literally seeking their lives, and 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 the great honor that must be bestowed, and I love what this. Um, do you like the fact that I have not let you ask a question yet? It's fine with me, go ahead. Um, uh, <laughs> and the fact that this wonderful Mr. Miranda from Hamilton, the Tony Award, mm -hmm. said, love, 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 love will sweep this hatred away. And he is right on the nose. And you know what else will also sweep this hatred away? Laughter. Real humor. Because humor, just humor will, will take the hate away. And the ability to just... Uh, laugh at haters and and uh, make them the true outliers that they are. Now ask me a question. I read that in the upcoming season, Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner will come on the show. What do you think? Tell me about working. Have you already shot that with her? And I haven't shot it. Okay. I actually know it? nothing about ah. it. I think it's a very, uh, it's a little bit. I do know that Caitlyn Jenner would be very much in Maura's head because it's she's very much in the news. So it's actually right. But I don't think we're doing a big, you know, it's not like, uh, what do they say, jumping the shark? Yeah. Which I never, I think my friend Henry Winkler is re responsible. He jumped a shark. Is in that correct? Days. He did. And that's how the phrase came? It is. Well, he's a good friend of mine, so I know the guy who jumped the <laughs> shark. There you go. Yeah. Also, you did some great work with... Uh, now, aren't we having a good interview? Yeah, it's fine. Isn't your day better? <laughs> I, my day's better because I get to meet you. You're yes, fun. Yes, um, Tell me about Angelica Houston. I can't say enough about it. I'm so glad you asked me. Angelica Houston <laughs> came into my trailer and we, to, 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 uh, and we met and we talked about um, our scene. And you've seen our scene, yes. And uh, we were both very nervous about it. And I think we were about two sentences into it and we both went, which is, that's royalty. Talk, I mean, here we are, I mean, talk about royalty, but that's, that's royalty. Um, her lineage, you know, the Houstons, and she is, um, what do you say, uh, uh, the, the, uh, we call, in school we used to call uh, actors who just nailed it, killers. She's a killer. She just nailed it. And I, I, I trust her with my life. We had such a good, good time. I can't say enough about her. She's, she's amazing. And I was plenty nervous about that scene, as was she. Yeah. 
did you have any trepidation, any fear before the show no. opened about taking the role? Anything? I would love to say that I walked the floors and I bit my nails and I read books and I I I threw myself at Jill Soloway after page eight. I just kept saying, "I'm in." Poor dear couldn't say a word. I'm in. I'm in. It's not the ing it's not who she said. It's another actor. <laughs> I'll I'll get to it. Um, he was in that movie with Julia Roberts and. Um, the English actor, he's a tall English actor, he's a comedian. Anyway, sorry. That's okay, I'll think about it. But yeah. anyway, so wait, trepidation, fear, before. I, I, no, I just threw myself, I mean, you know, you just, uh, I, I've been enough in the business to say, well, there it is. You know, I, um, these roles don't come along, but there was, and, it, and I hadn't even read it all, but there was something about her writing that was so true and reminded me of my West Coast Jewish family, the Tambors, and I went, this family is real. And not only that, you find yourself laughing in a funeral scene and crying when you go shopping for vegetables. And I said, that's, that's true. I think that's what happens is people feel they're really being talked to rather than at. And people go, this is what I get from people. People say, that's my family. Or people will say about season two, my God, that's my wedding. And so uh, I think that's, that's true. How would you say Transparent compares and contrasts with your other show, Arrested Development? Um, just two different, two different ways. And two, uh, two, uh, um, uh, just, I, I will say this, uh, in the trifecta that is my life, uh, Larry Sanders and Arrested and Transparent, I mean, and, I mean, and who, gets, who gets that? I mean, I, 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 I can never be in a bad mood because of that. Uh, <laughs> Um, I will say that all three creators were uh, of a genius uh, uh, notoriety and ilk. Uh, and also, the thing about Jill Soloway's set, it is, and, and, and they, they're all, they were all safe sets. They were all, they honored the actor. Uh, um, and uh, Jill Soloway is the safest set I've ever been on. There's no error. You are free. Um, she really understands the process and the truth, and uh, uh, I must say I'm a little spoiled uh, uh, for having uh, from having this because it's so it's so permissive and so just inviting. There's no error. It's just another, just another take, you know. Just to wrap up, do you have a favorite memory of Monaco, of Monte Carlo? Have you I do. Yeah? Sixteen um, years ago, I did a film in Nice, and we would come down here and we would walk around. And we would look in and peer in and, you know, look in and in. And now I'm inside. And so that's good. It took me 16 years, but it's great. No, but we, we always came down. And we're going to, uh, on, uh, this week, uh, my wife and I are going to go celebrate. Because life is made of circles. We're going to go and have our, our famous lunch at Ez. And we love it up there. And, uh, yeah, we just, I did a film. Arguably one of the worst films ever made. What uh, was it? And never even, it's so bad it wasn't even released. We took pity on the, uh, the American public. And, uh, but we shot in Nice, of all things. And uh, we would just go up and down, all just. This is uh, truly a blessed, blessed place. Right. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Perfect.